Kidney injury is a common complication of iodine contrast. Certain measures have been proven to reduce this risk. Mubarak Al-Kabir Hospital has recently launched a protocol to prevent contrast-induced acute kidney injury. This video illustrates the steps to follow in applying this protocol to prepare a patient for a contrast procedure. It consists of an inpatient, outpatient, and emergency protocol. To prepare an inpatient for a contrast procedure, the doctor has to fill the inpatient protocol sheet by checking the relevant boxes and signing at the bottom. The nurse will then carry out the orders in the sheet. The protocol sheet is considered as a prescription and should be attached to the unit dose at all times. For emergency contrast procedures, the doctor may follow the inpatient protocol as much as possible. We emphasize that preparing the patient must not delay the necessary procedure. When ordering a CT with contrast as an outpatient, the doctor should give the CT request to the patient along with a renal profile request to be done within four weeks from the CT appointment date. Upon receiving the CT appointment, the CT technician will give the patient the outpatient protocol checklist to take it to his or her doctor in the pre-CT checkup visit. The patient shall do the renal profile blood test within four weeks from the CT appointment date and books him or herself an appointment with a treating doctor for a pre-CT checkup visit. In the pre-CT checkup visit, the doctor checks the EGFR and classifies the patient accordingly to low, medium, or high risk. Those with GFR more than 45 are low risk patients and do not need specific preparation other than the general instructions. If the GFR is less than 30, the doctor should admit the patient electively one day before the appointment date to be prepared as per the inpatient protocol. If the GFR is between 30 and 45, the doctor should give the patient a specific preparation and indicate doing so by checking the relevant box. Those patients should be advised that they will also receive an oral preparation solution in the CT department on the appointment day. An acetylcysteine though has to be prescribed through HIS. Please ensure you choose the oral form. On the CT appointment day, those patients with medium risk, GFR between 30 and 45, will receive an oral preparation solution by the CT technician. It consists of one liter of water before and after CT. The CT technician will assure that all patients were prepared appropriately and indicate so by checking the relevant boxes in the technician part of the protocol sheet. 48 hours after the CT procedure, the patient will repeat the renal profile blood test and sees his or her doctor. The doctor will then check the kidney function, and if there is no acute kidney injury, the doctor may resume the medications held for the CT. Your cooperation is highly appreciated in order to make this protocol a successful move in the quality of care provided in MKH.